hello guys welcome to my channel Aura Tricks, and this is a new video series on oracle apex api and we have already uh, you know gone through certain things so let's start for today's thing so in this video i'm going to explain you about this display and save function so as mentioned uh, uh, here you can use this to display an item as a text but you can save its value to the session state Okay, this is the syntax for executing the things and uh, some explanation has been given. Uh, so let's go to the example. Here I have already prepared uh, one page on that. That is hidden function display and save. Yes. So what I have done over here is uh, I have created uh, one classic report in which uh, the query which I have fired is this one so select apex underscore item dot display and save so the session uh, it will save the values into the session there is one and emp number i also added the apex underscore item as text then uh, that is e name then uh, another text item that is a job uh, i don't want anything uh, editable the, so i have kept it as it is apex underscore item dot date pop up which we have already done we have salary commission department number i don't want this to be edited though from emp order by one so let me just execute the query oh yes so we are getting certain reports right so here this emp number is saved in the session state but uh, in current example what i've done is if you want to modify anything you know if you change anything over here and if you click on update button we want the data to be updated in the database right so let's check for the process now so this is the process which i have created i've already created one button this one updated so whenever the user clicked on update it will be updated so i've uh, declared some variables as we have done in the last videos okay so the query uh, will not change even here but ultimately we are storing the data into the session state so we are update employee and set the names where the emp number is equals to apex underscore application dot g f01 of i so for each record it will be updated if uh, if there is any change right so it will be get updated let's uh, just open a sql command so that we can check uh, for the data so let's change the value of this one and uh, EMP number is 7900 so let's check into the database first select star from EMP where EMP number is equals to this so yes we are getting the data where salary is equals to 950 and we go to here and change the salary to let's say 15,000 and update so yes we getting the message that data has been updated successfully but let's check here also that this 950 should get updated now oh yes it's updated so as per the documentation which is provided by the oracle is uh, it's saying that you can use this function to display an item as a text so we have tried we have uh, you know displayed the this item that is emp number as a text and uh, that value is saved to a session state whenever you want to work on the session management then you can use utilize this particular thing hope you understand this one so let's quickly move to towards the next thing that is a hidden function a very very important thing whenever you want to keep uh, certain things hi hide or hidden from the uh, user so at that moment you can you can utilize this function so this function dynamically generates an hidden item for you which you wants to be kept as a hidden there is certain parameter and one example has been uh, given so i've utilized that one so let's get go to our application so this is the application and let me go to the page that is hidden function this is a hidden function demo i think yes okay again we need to create one region over here as i've created this one and that's a classic report i have set and i fired the sql query so just see this select apex underscore item dot hidden so this particular function will hide the emp number from displaying on the page it will not be displayed on the page okay so that is uh, item 
and other thing I have kept as it is which we have uh, utilized in the, the earlier functions we just need to have a demo of this one particular thing just let's ok and just run so as you can see the currently uh, we are not able to see the employee number right because we have kept that particular item as a hidden from the user you can uh, you know uh, use any uh, manager or maybe department number you can utilize to hide the particular item so you just need to uh, use this particular thing apex underscore item dot hidden and just apply that particular thing okay you will be able to use it so let us run this one let me just save and run it so we are able to see this now what we want is we want to update the query also okay the so same thing whatever we have done in the earlier videos just go to the page create one button and uh, put a process on the that the process is as simple as we have done in the earlier videos that is begin for i to one to apex underscore application dot gf zero one dot count loop update employee set we are setting the items but here we have utilized the directly apex and application dot g underscore f zero two so understand this one let's say let me just uh, go to here hidden demo let me just copy this particular query and let me take you to the update query let me paste so that you can understand this one now try to understand this as far as this emp name is concerned right so i have put that item as a 2 so that's why you have right and right g underscore f02 right this is the way how you utilize or you know get those values so as far as the job is concerned i have given a 3 so that's why we utilize 3 over here f03 right for the same thing we have uh, updated this apex under item as we don't uh, update uh, this manager because that is display only so it's obviously user is not going to display or edit anything any part of that so f04 is there 5 is there 6 is there which is commissioned and where employee number is equal to two number we have to convert that to the number because that is available in the string right because we have kept that as item as a hidden and that is considered as a text only uh, hope you get this particular item how it's working let me just uh, check yes it's working okay save and run so before we make any changes we will you know as usual uh, re-verify it uh, this time we'll uh, work on this particular thing that is Smith, uh, but currently we don't know the uh, you know uh, what we can say that uh, employee number of this Smith, but we could have a query like e name as equals to like uh, Smith. Hope we get the data from this one. No data found as equals to like. Smith still we don't have let's go and check how it's written yes it's Smith yes we are getting the data the employee number is this one and the salary is 800 commission is 800 and department number is 20 so yes we are able to get those data right let me just change the salary to 8000 just click on update uh, message has been come here yeah, this 800 should be 8000 now okay so we are uh, able to get the data into the database also hope you like this videos uh, keep subscribe this channel some more videos I'm going to put uh, on this particular thing also and as soon as I finish this particular thing uh, I will uh, you know move towards the uh, next thing also hope you are enjoying this video uh, thank you thank you so much